Hey guys, um, I'm back again. This is the second video I'm posting today. Um, but I'm going to do the get to know me tag video. So this is what this is. Um, I'm not sure who originated it, but um, a lot of people have done it and I thought it was different and it gets, um, it gives you an insight of like into somebody's you know personality what they like and, and things like that what they believe so I thought it'd be kind of cool to do this so um, that's what I'm gonna do uh, let's see okay it starts out with vital stats so name I'm not gonna give my full name but I'll give my first and middle name which is Amanda Marie uh, nicknames uh, when I was a kid my uncle used to call me Amy, but I hate that name. <laughs> um, and I really don't have any any nicknames. Sometimes people would call me Manda without the A at the beginning, but uh, I like Amanda. Like that's my name. That's what I like. So uh, I guess I don't have any nicknames. My birthday is August twenty sixth, nineteen eighty five. My star sign is a Virgo. My occupation, I am a student, um, and I'm also a mother. I consider that an occupation because it is a full-time job. Appearance, my hair color is dark brown to sort of black. It's sort of, you know, it's brown, but it has like black in it, and then in the summertime, I get red and blonde highlights. My mother has blonde hair and my father had uh, got red highlights. So that's my hair color. My hair length is um, probably a couple inches above bra strap length. <laughs> um, some of you probably, I don't know if you know what that means, but basically it's, you know, the bra strap in the back. Um, either it's about to hit it or it's hitting the bottom of it and that's bra strap length so it's about that that length um, I actually just got it trimmed yesterday to um, actually have it cut straight across so I lost a couple inches but those inches really needed to go uh, let's see eye color brown best feature um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really like any of my features right now because I'm, I'm overweight. Um, I guess I'm going to say my eyes because I, <laughs> I don't know. I have this. Sometimes when I look at men that I'm attracted to, I can look at them in such a way with my eyes that they just keep staring and staring. <laughs> uh, maybe it's just, you know, they are in thought and I think they're staring at me. <laughs> but um, yeah, I guess my eyes, um, I know a lot of people have brown eyes, but I like my eyes and I think other than green eyes, real green eyes, not contact lens green eyes, but real green eyes, I think brown eyes are the best. Alright, so braces. Yes, I had braces. I got braces in fourth grade and I had them through tenth grade and I actually needed them longer but I was just so sick and tired of them that I had them taken off. My teeth are straight but they, um, they've moved so technically I actually need braces again <laughs> which is funny but I can't afford that so it's not gonna happen right now piercings yes I have piercings I have four holes in my lobes on both sides and I used to have my belly button pierced I took it out when I got pregnant and um, I just never got it redone so it's all good tattoos no, I would never ever get a tattoo. No. Um, righty or lefty? I'm a righty. Okay, so the next one is firsts. 
So first best friend. My first best friend, um, we became friends in kindergarten. And we were friends for a long time. We're not friends anymore, but we were friends for, I don't know, at least 10 years. And uh, oh, um, it's too bad it didn't work out. But, um, you know, I, I actually miss having a best friend. Let's see, my first award. I actually got an award. Um, I forgot what the name of it is. But basically, it was for academic achievement in my community college. Um, I had like a 3.5 or 3.6 GPA, and they did this thing where they chose two people from community colleges, and I was one of the people who were chosen, and, and I got um, a plaque, and I also got a medallion, and we were, we had to go to um, a place where we, you know, got up and spoke a little bit about you know being being selected so that was pretty cool my first sport <laughs> um, I'm not sure exactly what that means my first sport I don't like sports but the first time I really ever played sports I guess that I remember is in gym class and I hated gym I'm really not a sports person so my first real holiday what, does that like imply that there's fake holidays? I don't know. Um, <laughs> I guess I'm going to say the first one that I remember. The first one that I remember, um, I think it was Christmas. It's either Thanksgiving or Christmas that I remember. And I was really, really young. I was like four or five. Um, so it was either Christmas or Thanksgiving. I'm not quite sure. My first concert, um, I went to one concert, <laughs> and it wouldn't have been one that I would have chosen to go to, but I went with my cousin and her mother, my cousin wanted me to go, and it was a Garth Brooks concert. I'm really not a country fan, um, but I went with her anyway. I mean, I had a good time, but it's really not my kind of music, so, um, and I haven't been to a concert since. Um, okay, next is favorites. So, my favorite film. <laughs> Alright, my favorite, I have two favorite films, which is Grumpy Old Men and Grumpier Old Men. I have to put them together because they're a set, but those are my favorite movies. My favorite TV show, um, favorite TV show, I don't have an actual favorite TV show, there are TV shows that I like, but they're there isn't one that I would choose. Well, maybe one, maybe the Golden Girls. That's probably the one that I'd choose over anyone else because I think they're just hilarious and funny. <sighs> and let's see, my favorite color. My favorite color changes. It's never the same. Some days I like purple and then some days I like black and then some days I like silver so it really depends on my mood and and where I'm at in my life I guess so I don't really have a favorite that sticks the whole way my favorite song that would be a song for you by the carpenters I love that song it's a beautiful song and I just love it favorite restaurant um, I'm gonna say subway because they have healthy food <laughs> and you can choose to eat healthy when you go there so I like that idea of knowing what you're getting you know rather than just going to a pizza place and just getting greasy pizza and <clears throat> you know that's not good for you all right my favorite store <laughs> my favorite store I don't know if these stores are in other states but it's in my state and it's called bull moose and you can get um, movies and records and music and all kinds of stuff. They have like, they take in used movies and stuff like that and you can buy them for real cheap. So that's my favorite store. My favorite book, uh, I don't have an actual favorite book. 
because depending on the book they all have different things in them that you could you could take from them so I don't have no I don't have a favorite book I don't have a favorite magazine I don't even um, read magazines unless I'm in a waiting room or something and I'm bored and I just like to look through it um, favorite shoes <sighs> um, I don't have a favorite like brand of shoes but I have it but my I like wearing sneakers I don't like wearing all that stuff that girls wear it's bad for your feet it's bad for your skeletal system and when you get older you're gonna have a lot of feet and leg and back problems so I don't wear that stuff and I can't wear that stuff because I have back problems so sneakers are my favorite I like sneakers and right now I'm wearing rocker sneakers so basically in the heel um, it it's set up so you stand straight and in, in alignment with your body rather than leaning back or leaning forward and currently I am feeling I am feeling neutral I guess I'm I'm in a good mood I mean I'm not overly excited I'm not sad or anything I'm just I'm good I'm good am I currently single or taken I am single currently eating I'm not eating anything right now but I am drinking apple cider <laughs> I love apple cider <laughs> um, currently listening to well um, not at this second am I listening to something but currently I'm really into the carpenters I really love them I also love the bangles um, you know so I'm sort of I'm pretty much into the carpenters right now that's what I like uh, let's see currently thinking about <laughs> well obviously I'm thinking about this because I'm doing it so that's kind of a silly question um, currently watching I'm not watching anything. <laughs> uh, um, okay I guess I could say I'm currently watching Netflix because I get net Netflix so it's we get TV shows and um, movies and currently I am wearing this like I don't know it's not a jacket it's just like I got I guess a house coat I don't know um, but it keeps me warm inside my house and I'm wearing just a regular gray shirt and I'm wearing um, not yoga pants but you know stretchy black slacks type things um, I like them because they're comfortable and I don't have to worry about them digging into me or anything so that's what I'm wearing and in the future do I want children well for me this question should be do I want more children because I already have a son and no I don't want more children I shouldn't have more children because I have back problems it could actually paralyze me so no I don't want more children and it's not because of my back I just one is good enough for me I love him dearly he's my son and that's all I need I just need one child so that's good do I want to be married uh, I go back and forth on this one sometimes I think yeah I'd like to be married but then I think no I don't want to be married because I don't want to have to go through you know if it doesn't work out um, you know all the drama that goes with it you know and I don't want to put my child through that but I don't know I guess I guess yes I, I would like to be married someday I just don't want to have to deal with all the drama that's all and careers in mind well I am currently in school and I am going for social work so a career in social work that's what I'm doing where do I want to live um, I've always wanted to live in San Francisco I just think it's a beautiful city there's lots of diversity there's lots of things to do it's very historical um, and it, it's just always I've just always been attracted to San Francisco so if I had a place to move I'd probably move there okay do I believe in God well I guess I do um, 
not in the sense that I believe in God and I and I read the Bible and I believe like everything I I believe that there's a God but I also believe that there's more than one God and there's goddesses and I believe in other like other um, I believe that any religion on this earth is true because if you believe in it then it's true you know what I'm saying so I guess I believe that there is a God because people believe in it and I also believe that there are gods and goddesses because people believe in that I also you know believe that um, what is it Buddhism I think it's Buddhism where you got the Buddha and you get the, the you know you reach um, oh, what is it the Nirvana and stuff like that I think that's true too because people believe in it so I I guess I believe in the belief of something if that makes any sense do I believe in miracles um, yes because for me it's it's because I had my child and I believe that just having a child yes people have children every day sorry women have children every day but it is a miracle that they are here because you could die in childbirth the baby could die in childbirth there could be complications and just bringing a life into this world is a miracle it just is so yeah I do believe in miracles do I believe at love at first sight? No, I believe at lust at first sight. Because when you first meet somebody and you're attracted to them, you're attracted basically to what they look like, <laughs> you know, um, or how they sound or, or something like that. You know, it's not, you're not, you don't know that person to love them. You know, I mean, it's different when you have a child, you automatically love that child, um, even without knowing them. But that's different than just, you know, going into the coffee shop and you bump into somebody and you start talking and you're like, ooh, I really like this person. You can like somebody. I think you can like somebody, you know, be attracted to them. But to really love somebody, it takes a lot of time and commitment and to get to know that person. You have to really get to know that person, their ups, downs, ins, outs, everything to really love a person. So, no, I don't believe at love at first sight. Do I believe in ghosts? Yes, I do believe in ghosts because I have seen ghosts. So I know that they exist, so I believe in them. Do I believe in aliens? Um, I don't think I like the word alien. Um, I do believe that there are other life forms like us out there. I mean, there has to be. We, we can't be the only life form here, and we probably won't be the last life form here. So... Um, yes, I believe that there is life out there. I just don't like the term alien. Soulmates. Let's see. Do I believe in soulmates? Um, I believe that some people can find a soulmate. Not everybody. I don't think everyone is destined for a soulmate. Um, and to me, soulmate is somebody that you can share your life with until you die. You know, you know those people who are married and they just have, they just have what it takes to make it in a relationship. You know, they just have that charisma that, whatever it is that, and it's not everybody, it's just like these rare people who have this connection with each other. That to me as a soulmate and not everyone gets that just few few and far between you know we can have people that we love but I don't think that everyone has a soulmate do I believe in heaven I'm not sure um, I don't know I'm not sure about that one and I'm not sure if I believe in hell either um, I think I do believe that there are ghosts so I do believe there's an in-between place but I think what it is let's see I think I believe I think I believe I believe that when you die um, that you go on to the next 
phase in whatever cycle that we're in. Like, I think that right now we're in a cycle. You know, our souls will be forever going through cycles. You know, so basically after I, I die, I will move on to whatever phase is next for me. And if that's being a ghost, then that's being a ghost. If that is coming back as a dog, then it's coming back as a dog, you know. Um, that's what I believe. So I don't know if I necessarily believe in heaven or hell. Uh, let's see. Kissing on the first date. No, I don't believe that. For me, I would not kiss on the first date because I want to get to know somebody. They have, You have to earn to be... You have to earn it to kiss me. You know what I mean? It's not like I'm, I'm not just going to give it away to you on the first date. And I don't mean sex. I just mean kissing. You know, holding hands is one thing, but I, I like the slowness of getting to know somebody maybe on the fifth date or something, you know, but not the first. Definitely not. And do I believe in myself? Yes, I do. Sometimes I don't, but overall I do. I believe that I will succeed in college. I believe that I will succeed as a parent. I believe that I will succeed as just being who I am. You know, sometimes you think that things aren't going to happen for you, but, you know, sometimes they're just not meant to happen until a certain time in your life. But that doesn't mean you, you have to stop believing, because the second you stop believing, then nothing's going to happen for you. At least that's what I think. So, that is a couple of things, well, more than a couple of things, but, you know, just a brief... Um, a brief idea of how I think, what I like, and things like that. So I hope that was entertaining for you. This was like 21 minutes long. That's okay. Um, yeah, I hope other people do this and try it. You know, it's it's interesting to get other people's perspective on things. So uh, I hope you watch this, and I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.